Hi guys, welcome back to Zelda and today we've got some more collecting and some more shit to get and a lot of this is going to be sped up, cut, jump cut, everything because this video was about 25 minutes, uh, nearly half an hour long and it was a hell of a lot of travelling, warping, standing about thinking where I should go to next, go to next. but um, came to the conclusion the best idea is to speed this shit up. And there are two pieces of heart we can acquire because we've got the spinner now, which is also pretty damn handy. The one of them is up here where we went to earlier and there was nothing we could do down here until until we actually got the spinner. And we get to do some more bouncing off walls action. And we can also break the uh, wall up here as well because it makes it easier. And after this video we'll be getting right on the heels of entering the next dungeon. Which, um, after uh, the fact that Arbiter's uh, Grounds, we can this really quickly go in between um, dungeons now. The main thing is collecting shit because of our new um, dungeon items, which help, obviously, like the spinner. But we'll get more in the next, we'll get like another item in the next dungeon and then we'll get some more shit out here. It's a nice balance. But the hard part is really um, collecting the pose and the um, bugs because they're pretty damn time consuming. I think they can only be collected at night as well, which is bloody annoying. But um, we go from this side now and we also uh, meet Mr. Postman. And I did have a look at my little inbox afterwards and there's nothing useful in there at all. Like literally, there's nothing useful there for anybody. And going up here, we'll, this will lead us to the next little track, and if you're wondering why I'm not using a pona, it's because I still can't bloody find any of those stupid horse grasses about easily. I'm probably missing them, but bothering me though, I have to just run around so much. And this is where the other track is. And we have a bit more of a challenge, I should you say, for this piece, but it's really not too difficult either. What you want to do is transform into a dog, and then dig diddly egg. And we'll have another one of the holes where we have to murder some dudes to actually get an item, which is becoming standard now. And you know, you're immediately surrounded the second you walk in, you know. But, as usual, bomb arrows are the key with these doodles. There we go. Heart piece number one for this video. Oh, no, two. What the hell am I talking about? Um, there's some other stuff as well here. Um, oh yeah, there's another um, lantern cave as well coming up. Ooh, get ready for that shit, because you know you love it. But then the game does start to hit. Uh, to me, this is when like it gets more Zeldery. The dog parts aren't forced, they're a lot more friendlier for everybody, I just think it's so much better now. <laughs> and the cave is right around here, and I can also hear the glisten of one of those bugs. But, um, the old cave is right by there. It's really, I think it probably would have been better to come here first. It's more of a training ground for the second one. But, um, 
the other one's more convenient and I knew about it. So I have to start looking up some of these heart pieces now because I just don't remember where they are. And all we get here is um more streamlined paths. And um I just keep me landing off the old time really because um it's simpler to do. And it takes me a while to realise that all you've got to do is whack it with a shield and its defences are down. But um, he's easily taken care of. And um, we can do that. And there's also a Poe which we can take care of. Which does proceed to batter us into a um, new life. And it gives us the one around. But we do get it eventually. But um, I find it easier to actually leave by having the senses on because you just get some short-term brightness which is useful and now we get no more slowdown <laughs> so um we want to go to Talmud's bar but first of all we've got um, a couple more things to do first thing we've got to do in town is go and see some dude who wants us to give him all of our money. So, well, a majority of it. We can have a lot of it for now, but not bloody all of it. But, um, like I say, there's a couple of people in the game who do want you to give them rupees, and you should give them rupees. Because not only have I been sitting on 600 for a long time, it's also a good way to get stuff. And because this takes so long, I just speed up the rest of it, because it takes friggin' ages just to actually, um, like, what's the, the word, um, just having to keep repeating it and going, I can't just set an amount, unfortunately. This is less, this is, is explained to you less than the other one, which asks for a definite donation, but this one is just like, give me the money, keep going, just keep giving me the money. And all we want to do now is go and visit Agatha again. Agatha. Old Agatha kissed Christy down there. But, um, she's got more money for us because of our, um, bugs we're about to give her. And we can finally, um, give her the one in a matching set now. And when you give her one in a matching set, she gives you 100 instead of 50. So there's 150 out of every 20 out of each pair. So, you, there's quite a lot of rupees, and it's quite good for making the money to give that guy. As long as you've got the bugs. And the rest of the video is me giving her the bugs. So, I will see you guys next time when more interesting stuff will be happening. Toodles!